And in this short video, we'll look at histograms. Now, histograms are a bit like bar charts, but they're more complicated because we're dealing with um, interval widths that are not the same. So we can see I've got a diagram here, um, but it's not really telling me anything about the frequencies. I know something about ages, and I've got this um, variable on the vertical axis called FD, which stands for frequency density. But what we try to show is that an area um, of each bar um, represents the frequency. So if one bar is twice as big as another bar, then that interval width has a frequency that's double the other interval. So if we look at what we have here, we know that um, we can read off our frequency densities for each of our um, intervals. So the 0 to 20 has frequency density 2. And our 20 to 25 has a frequency density of 4. And our 25 up to 40 has a frequency density of 3. But again, it's not telling us much um, about the um, frequencies until we know a bit more about how they will connect. Well, um, our, as I've said, the frequency is proportional to the area. So the frequency is going to equal something times the area of each bar. And the area of the bar can be found doing base times the height. And the base, of course, is the interval width and the height is the frequency density. Now, at GCSC, um, you can rest assured that k is always going to be 1. Um, so in virtually every example I've seen, k is 1. So, so we can think of it as the frequency equals the interval width times the frequency density. If we come across a case um, where it's not one, I'll show you how to get through that. But for I want you to just deal with the idea that it's always going to be the interval width times our frequency density. So, what are these frequencies then? Well, we, we've got the frequency density of 2, and it's fairly simple without um, doing maths. Writing it out, 0 to 20 has a width of 20, so 20 times 2 is a frequency of 40. The next um, width, interval width is 20 to 25, that's a width of 5. The frequency density is 4, <coughs> so this has a frequency of 20. So half the frequency, and this has half the area. This shaded by the space here will take up exactly half of that area. Hence the frequency is half the other frequency. Finally, um, the width of 15 times a frequency density of 3 gives me a frequency of 45. So this is the larger area, it's larger than this area here just, um, and that is worked out by doing 15 times 3. Now we can have the information presented the other way around. We can be told the frequencies, and then we need the frequency densities to draw a histogram. So instead of multiplying, we will take the fact that if we um, make the frequency density the subject of the equation, the frequency density we have the frequency divided by the interval. And usually um, on non-calculator paper, this will be fairly straightforward to do. So we've got 20 divided by 10, 30 divided by 20, 10 to 30 is 20, 30 divided by 20 is 5, 10 divided by 5 is 2, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. So 1 to 10 then has a frequency density of 2. 10 to 30 is a frequency density of 1.5. Put that in there. 30 to 35, so I'm not going there, is a frequency density of 2 again. And finally, our highest uh, frequency density is 3. We've got the smallest widths of 5. So, up to 3, up to 40. And that's it then. Virtually all questions will test that you can do um, what I've done in both directions. So please watch the other videos I've made to see how I tackle GCSE exam questions. That's